time to draw our penguins. Our penguins that are in front are closer and our penguins that are in the back are farther away. With a pencil, we're drawing one, two penguins at the bottom. One, two, rainbow shape. Don't skip a space, draw a second rainbow shape. And it's okay if it goes off the paper or really close to the end. We made a giant letter M at the bottom for our first two penguins. The next row has one, two, three. Now, if you have more than three, if you have four, it's okay. Problem solve so you can fit it. Look how I start on top of the penguin's head and then draw my rainbow line going off of the paper. Now, my next penguin is going to start at the top of the penguin's head and go boing boing off of the paper. You don't even need to pick your pencil up. We're kind of, woo, the camera just went crazy. We're kind of jumping on top of the penguin's heads. You might start your next one on top of the penguin's head, but go off to the left. Our penguins aren't tiny yet. Boing. Boing, boing. Kind of looks like fish scales. When you're ready for the next row, start on top of the penguin's head, jump over to the side. Then go boing, boing, boing off the paper. Maybe you choose to stop here, or maybe you choose to do another row. It's up to you. Oh, these guys are getting kind of small. I might be boinging on top of the penguin's head twice. That's okay. Maybe you choose to fill the whole thing up with penguins. It's up to you. Double check your art. Do we have a spot for the faces on all the penguins? This guy's really close to the edge, so we might only see an eyeball. Next step, we're gonna flip this paper over. But you have some decisions to make. This handout doesn't show a whole lot of personality. If you look at the finished one, they all look the same. Now, we are in art class and we are artists, so you might choose to draw a hat on top of your penguin or a crown or a hair bow to make it look it make it look more interesting. If you want anything on the head, do that now before we sharpie. Because you'll have to erase the top of the head. See how there's a line going through my, my bow? I don't want that there. Erase it. Do that before we sharpie. Keep adding hats if you want to. Maybe just pick a few penguins for hats. Then grab a sharpie and sharpie all of your pencil lines. You can continue in sharpie from this point forward and skip pencil. Or if you feel more comfortable, you can do pencil and do sharpie at the end. Up to you. After you've sharpied and erased all of your pencil lines, we're actually on this step where we're doing another rainbow line on each one of our penguins. After you do the rainbow line step, it's time to do the beaks and you can make them different from this, the eyes and the cheeks. Now we're in art class. You don't have to just do the little dots for the eyes. You can give your penguins different expressions. Some of them can be the same. That might just make this a little more interesting. Some of your penguins' faces will be cropped out of your picture 
and we'll only see part of it. Don't try to squeeze it in if it doesn't make sense.